Ok Acknowledging this feels really stupid uh, It's been about a year since the transplant now and uh, I thought I should start a video diary thing weekly put it up on YouTube keep myself accountable with all of the music stuff that I'm now doing uh, mostly because I googled what should bands be doing on YouTube and one of the things was um, a vlog of some kind so this this is better than not doing it I guess okay so October 9th 2018 I got a transplant up until then I've been spending any time I had not on dialysis performing covers in town and bands and writing music and stuff once I got the transplant you know I was free to do what I wanted I wanted to do this properly tra travel around and play my own music and put together a band called Bitter Cup this is the weekly video vlog keeping myself accountable and planning and uh, making sure that I'm moving forward this is Snowflake Butthole um, it's all about me uh, so uh, two weeks ago now we did the gig in Frank Bar Shed and I played a solo bit of cup set opening it up. Um, and that was good. It's always tough. It's always tough playing for the crowd going between dinner and the metal gig. But I think um, it was well received by the people who ended up staying through the rest of the metal sets anyway uh, so I think I think um, playing acoustic guitar angrily was a good segue so that was good and then of course um, the last band on was Shed, the Tall Tribute which I sing in That was a really good gig. That was good. People love that regardless anyway. Singing tall songs to tall fans always feels like cheating. <laughs> um, with Bitter Cup, this coming Saturday, um, we've got a gig at Lucky, which is in the same town as Frank Bar, Wanganui. Wanganui is a great little town. It's got lots of great fans in it. So we've done a couple of lucky gigs before and they're small but uh, really receptive and it's a great little atmosphere there. So that's what we've been doing. Um, we've just got Heather in the band on bass not long ago, about three weeks ago now maybe. Six weeks now she's been in. Um, working with us, we've been practicing oh, a fair bit, I've been getting two a week, um, I think she's been practicing a lot on her own though, which is good, um, so uh, the other thing I do to keep, keep myself accountable is I Every day I write in my notes what I do towards the music stuff, towards Bitterka or Shed. Um, and then, and that's one, that's, that's to keep me accountable, but that's also um, 
it's also to so I can look back and see that I did some stuff because I constantly feel like I constantly feel like I'm not doing anything or not doing enough. So it's good to have a list of things that prove to me that I did something. And that's how it works in reverse. Um, so I've also um, messaged a group called uh, Musician Cell Groups on Facebook. It's this thing where um, they do groups of up to eight musicians or um, producers or you know people around the thing. And anyway, once it gets to eight, <laughs> they do what they call mitosis, and they break off like a cell into um, smaller groups, and that's how it grows. And so you've got these different people um, talking to you over time, um, and they have meetings online. For an hour once a week so I've um, I've pended a joining group for that they haven't got back to me yet so it's been like a week <laughs> um, I might look into that again after this um, so the other cool thing about playing at Lucky is that they will have a piano mic um, so I'm going to do the intro to one of the songs in the set, the first one, Sexism. Um, I'm going to do that on piano. It's on the demo, it's piano. So I'm going to play that. That'll be a nice little change. I usually transpose it to guitar for that. Um, so we are... Uh, been working on the new EP as well um, and the last year the last year directly after the transplant I released the first EP negative space and a single from that led astray by a chemical and I released a standalone single napkin earlier in that year in this year um, so now I'm working on the next EP. The plan is to do three EPs and then a full length and um, trying to fill the criteria for New Zealand On Air funding by the time I've done those three EPs so that I can do a really good job on this full length. And the full length is going to be um, all of the songs that are more about kidney disease and dialysis and written over that last nine years on dialysis. Um, that one's going to be called End of Therapy, which is what it used to say on the dialysis machine when you finish. So then that, by the time I'm doing that, it will be a personal and professional milestone. So yeah, so we've got the first one out and working on the second one. I've got all the drum tracks laid down. I went out to Rhythm Ace, did all the drum tracks um, for that. We've got all them down. Um, I'm doing the rest in, um, at EBT. I'm working on the new EP. Um, I'm continuing to um, try and promote Natkin, the latest single. Um, I'm still using the Submit Hub for that. Um, got um, recently had one through that, um, a share from Come Here Floyd, uh, which is an international music blog website thing. So that was nice of them. Thank you, Come Here Floyd. I feel like I've done a decent amount in the last week. I don't feel totally shit about it. And it's good to have a gig coming up at the end of the week to play. In the next episode, I will let you and myself know how that one went. Uh, should have some footage.
would be things I could improve on. I suppose I could be doing more to push Netkin. I guess like I've done all the main things you do as soon as you release it, and it performed really well. It, um, surpassed Let Astray by a Chemical and how many plays it's got on Spotify in the first couple of days. So that's all good. Um, and got a lot of feedback. Good feedback about it. People think it's a banger. So it's nice. And it's um, going off really well live. Napkin is going off really well live. That's going really well. Um, been trying to do a bit more writing of music and lyrics as well on the side. I haven't done a whole lot of that. I'm trying to use the two minute rule. Just to get the habit going, just two minutes a day of it. Which is hard to do with writing because you kind of have to get into the thing. I think I'm going to give it a bit more time in one go than that. But with the music you can just flick out a thing that you've been thinking about. It's a bit easier. Um, but mostly I'm working on the, the new songs for the EP. Um, but I am trying to keep writing new stuff continuously also. Even if it's shit, especially if it's shit, to get the shit out of the way. So that the genius can come through, hopefully. Um, we usually do um, a couple of open mics on Thursday, and it usually gives us um, a good little amount of practice in a performance public kind of setting. Um, we didn't get to this time. The, the bit of cup set's been coming along really well. I think it's sounding good. And um, sounding... Sounding ready for Lucky anyway. I'm sure... I'm sure Lucky will go well. It's so hard to keep pushing a single. I guess the shows are really good for that. You can talk about the single and rah da rah. Um, but like the the inner circle fans are already starting to buzz about the new EP now, which I've said is like stuff start coming out to do with that about February next year. But the hype has begun. People know about it now. Some people. Um, so, what can I do every day <laughs> to keep it going? I don't know. Um, I do know. So practice more. Get more practices going. Organize practices with the band. This this is really hard. Hopefully it'll get easier as I keep doing it. It's been a year. I'd like to, for at least the next year, keep doing these. No matter how painful. sucks putting them up on YouTube but I think trying to focus on what I'm doing and what I can do is uh, easy or well, helpful it's not easy and I think that's probably enough you know, lucky gig coming up we've been practicing for that I've been writing my notes what to achieve for the last three months um, the musician cell groups um, Frank gig last week, been playing piano both for um, Lucky gig and for I'm a Liar for the recording, which is sounding great actually, by the way. Um, shared the Tool Tributes, learning a new song. Um, yeah, it was a fairly productive week. I should do a rating system, I'll do a rating system, shall I? Week productivity out of 10. 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. That's good. <laughs>